Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and I'm coming to you with another video in reference to that Grand Theft Auto effect, um, which is, I think is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, here is a parallax website. You guys know that I'm the king of the parallax. Uh, you know, just a website I'm building in reference to landing pages. Right here is the effect that I've already done so far. You know, kind of practicing there, which is pretty cool. I might keep that one. Um, and let me just show you the rest of the website right here in reference to, you know, us kind of building landing pages for people. Sometimes you don't need it in full website. Sometimes you just need to capture an email, a landing page. Um, that may be all you really need. So um, this is the website. I will definitely share with you guys here in the future the actual um, link to the website. Uh, definitely via Twitter and Facebook. So make sure you follow me there at Website Candy. Um, right over here is a couple of different Grand Theft Auto uh, screenshots here in reference to some of the different variations that they've done. I've always kind of admired their artwork. It looks really good. And to make sure that you're able to pull this off, you're definitely going to need the font, you know, price down, which is for free over here on the font. And when you get over here, you can actually download it for free and install it to your Photoshop uh, to get rocking and rolling. So the size um, that I need for my website here where I want to kind of create that team all over again is 960 by 545 is the you know artboard that I'm working with. So if you want to follow along, definitely create you know your uh, you know your artboard here, whatever it's called in Photoshop, your new file you know at those settings there okay so basically what we're going to do here um, to get started is we're going to start off by unlocking the uh, background layer and if you're using Adobe Photoshop CC you just touch the lock and it goes away and right over here in your color chips I'm going to just hit my D key to select the um, default setting where black is the foreground and white is the background um, the tool I'm going to use first of all is going to be right here is going to be the line tool you can hit U to get there if you don't see it um, just kind of hold down and you'll get to the line tool there and I'm using a weight of 10 pixels and um, 3 points right here and then there's no stroke and then I have the black um, color field that I want to use here so what you can do is you can draw your lines I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna kinda draw outside the box there and you can see right here that it created a new layer for me I didn't have to create the layer so I'm gonna draw, draw another one here hold shift and I want this one to go straight up and down and you can see what we have going on here and we're starting to get that effect already I'm gonna just kinda come over in here and just drag this one and when I'm touch the background layer here you can see the corners are matching up it looks like it's really connecting really well there I kinda like what I have going on here um, I am missing right there so let me get more in the center there and then pull that up there and then let me go ahead and do one more that's kinda coming like this way maybe and select the background layer and you can see what we have going on here now over here is the uh, line structure that I've uh, kind of already made in reference to definitely making sure everything's lining up perfect the way I want it there and um, what we're going to do from here with the line structure once you get your line structure set up the way you decide you want what we're going to do is we're going to select the top layer here and then what we're going to do is we create a new layer so it goes on the very top there I'm going to select my um, magic wand tool right here and you can select the magic wand and once we get the magic wand selected I can just select any type of um, layer that I want here make sure your tolerance is at a hundred so it definitely catches all the white there I'm gonna hit my shift delete and then I'll bring up my fill dialog box here I'm gonna come over here to color double touch that right there you can select the color whatever you desire I'm gonna hit that right there hit command D to unselect that create a new layer and make sure you create a new layer every single time I'm gonna select this one right here just one touch shift delete I'm gonna come over here to color and then I'm gonna just go ahead and pick another random color and just hit OK and we have that there command D to unselect it I'm gonna go ahead and do one more right here I will select this one right here select the new layer shift delete and then we're gonna come over and we're going to select our color now 
over here, what you see is the different colors that we selected, and I kind of like what I have going on here. I might come back to this right here, but um, to not bore you with selecting all those colors there, I already have my color selection the way I want it there. Um, so this is what we have set up, and this is what we have going on so far. So now, here are my different little characters that I would like to use right here. Um, whatever illustrations you want to use, what you want to do is, for me, I feel as though the best practice is, what you're going to do is you're going to say Command A to select all, and you can see the marching ants kind of going around the image there. We're going to say Command C to copy, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and being that you already have these on the individual layer, and this is why this is so important, this layer right here, I can turn off the eyeball, and I can see exactly right here where it's going to go. I'm going to select my Move tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to, and my, the move tool is just to be safe so I don't select anything on an accident. And when I come to my move tool here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here to, um, I'm going to select this right here. Actually, I need my magic wand. Sorry about that. I'm going to select this area. Actually, let's go back to the move tool. Sorry, I did that for a reason. I'm going to hold command and I'm going to click the layer right there that I want to select and you see my marching ants come around here and I don't have to try to select that all over again okay it's been selected so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to go over here to the edit and I'm gonna go to paste special and I'm gonna say paste in two so this guy right here that we have put on our clipboard you can see he pasted it right here inside of this artwork really well now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this right here and I'm gonna say convert to smart object because I might want to make a change later and it gets rid of the layer mask and I hit command T and anytime you see that wireframe that means you're working with a smart object you can resize you can commit it and once you commit it there um, I, I did that in the wrong position there so I'm going to commit that, hit Command Z a couple times there, and then what I want to do is I want to see my entire image right there. So I'm going to go to a smart object now from here, Command, and this might cut it off as well. Yeah, it's going to cut it off. So wherever you cut it at in reference to that position is where it's going to be if you convert it to a smart object. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to leave it outside the smart object, hit Command T, and I'm going to resize this guy and being that we have to work without a smart object it's very important that when you make your commitment that's what you actually want you cannot resize it because say for instance and I'm going to show you a prime example so we're going to just commit that right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm just showing you as an example if I commit it if I go to free transform and I make it really small hit enter I go to Command T again, free transform, and I bring it back up. You see how we lost pixelation. And that could be the effect that you're looking for, you know, the blurry effect if that's what you decide you want to do. But that's not definitely what I want to do here. So we're going to keep it outside the smart layer, but we're going to make sure our selection is what we want. We're going to double click this right here, and we're just going to do a drop shadow. And I just have a very faint drop shadow. I said reset to defaults is what I'm working with here. So if you reset your defaults, if that's what you decide you want to do, that's what it's going to be, the exactly the same thing. We're going to go to our next character here. I'm going to just say select all, copy. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select whatever layer that I decide I want to use here. And I'm going to hold the shift key, actually. I'm going to hold the command key and I want him to go I can turn off this little eyeball and see what area I want him to go in and I can come over here and select the layer and it's going to give me the marching ants so now that I got the marching ants I can come over here to the edit paste into and then we have our guy right here pasted in there I'm not going to resize him I'm going to leave him just like that for the sake of this video the next area we're going to work with is the yellow area I want that yellow area right there um, let's go ahead to our third character and I didn't take him out of his frame and get him ready so I'm going to say select all copy and then I'm going to come back over here I'm going to hold my command key and select that layer right there it gives me the marching ants and I have him copied on my clipboard there go to edit paste special paste it to and there he is right inside there everything is really checking out pretty well I like the way things are happening here so we gotta go over here to our other guy which I did not take him out of his frame either so I'm just gonna do that really fast I'm just gonna remove the red behind him there and it looks like it's cutting off his ear a little bit um, 
And for the sake of this video, uh, no, can't do it. I just, I just can't bring myself to do it. Can't cut his ear off. <clears throat> so let me bring my uh, selection tool down so I can get his ear there. Um, I'm going to change it over here to this minus over here. And we're just going to grab his ear really fast. Sometimes the quick selection is always not the best, but it works pretty well. We're going to just copy all of him. Copy. And we're going to come over here, and I want to work in the blue area there. So let's find that blue area. Here it is right here. I'm going to command click. My marching ants are right there. I'm, I have him already copied to my clipboard. Once again, I'm going to paste into and he's going to go right there. Now you can definitely resize these guys to your liking uh, but like I mentioned before you know you're going to have to make sure you make a decision as far as what you want because uh, once you commit this you're, you're kind of stuck with it. You can't be really moving it around outside of that smart object. You know I'm the smart object king here. Um, let's go get our last guy that we did not take him out the frame. We can go remove him I'm um, sorry I did not have that all set up for you guys so let me go over here to the quick selection tool the magic wand again select those we have a good selection delete it and as long as your layers unlocked you are able to uh, delete very easily so I got it copied here let's go over here to the green area and I'm just going to command click right in this area right here and I'm just kind of throwing these guys in here by random paste in two <clears throat> and for the sake of just want to make sure that the video is not extremely long okay so we have all our guys in here everything's looking really good now what we want to do is we want to go to the very top but what I like to do anyway is create a new layer and over here I'm going to do a text layer so now what we're going to do um, you've already installed the font I'm assuming the price down on your machine so we're just going to select over here we're going to say the inner dream and our team and then what we're going to do we're going to resize this up right here and to get that uh, let's resize this up make it a little bit bigger here so we can really read it it's nice and legible I'm gonna select everything right over here on my dock if you don't have it here you can go to window and bring it in It's the characters what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slide these adjustments and it kind of gives you a hint here of what's going on so we want to kind of move the words close to each other and then what we're going to do is we're going to slide this up and down here if we're going to actually make the D touch the th I'm going to um, come over here edit this one more time select everything once again I probably should have did that first but uh, I'm going to adjust this to where everything's kind of touching there and then actually what I want to do is I want to um, I want to change the font to white like the uh, Grand Theft Auto and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this right here and I'm going to um, put a stroke around it here and once we kind of get our stroke whatever we like the three is good for me I'm going to go ahead and stay with that right there I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to resize this once again to the size that I desire to have it and I kind of feel like everything's too close so I'm actually going to uh, resize that once again I'm going to come over here I'm going to commit that select everything actually within this text so once I get everything selected here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull everything back just a little bit and um, get it the way I really like it the way I really want it I want it to be nice and legible and fitting on the screen so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my uh, wrong key. Okay, started a new text layer. You got to be careful inside of Photoshop here because you start moving around and clicking the wrong stuff and you'll get in all kinds of trouble. So I just want to move this up a little bit right here. <clears throat> and then what we can do in this area right here, I just have a little tool tip real fast that I'm just going to grab. Um, I have done a video on this right here as far as the flat icon. You can install it right into your machine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to just go over here and select a computer um, really quickly. 
for the sake of this video not to be so long I hate long videos myself so trying my best to make sure you guys don't have to sit through a long video so as I double click that right there what we're going to do is it's going to take us over to um, the uh, it's going to pop the uh, little animation right inside there I'm just going to put this up inside that corner right there and try to line that up as center as I possibly can by the eye it may not necessarily be lined up but now that I'm on the move tool once again I'm able to hit a 5 and just go to 50 percent opacity now all of my guys here what I want to do is I just want to just double click these guys really quickly I don't even have to see them because I know the default setting I'm going to just put everybody on a um, a drop shadow which I tend to like to use quite a bit and uh, you know it's just fun kind of gives it that three-dimensional feel um, I could have just copied all these different layers I think that guy right there works really well in reference to the color scheme kind of matching him and we can see that happen in real time there and now here we have the Grand Theft Auto inspired you can add more to it if you decide you want to so right over here I went over on the web and I found some um, different you know little fun little textures and little fonts and everything it really doesn't say anything you can make your own if you decide you want to but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to just drop it right over top of everything right over here so I'm just going to move this to the very top layer where everything's covered and here's a quick tip in Photoshop as long as you're on the move tool you can hold shift and then hit your plus uh, symbol here to see the different right here you can see the different um, blending options in reference to um, what's available for you instead of kind of just clicking each one um, I think I kinda like the color dodge there um, the color dodge add looks really really well I think I really like that one makes it look busy and then I'm just gonna take the opacity the black is kinda hiding and just kinda bring everything down to a uh, nice conforming looking um, level there where everything looks really fun and it looks really creative it looks like I spent five hours designing this right here and you know you go with it and then you can possibly even come over here and you can do the um, the uh, layer mask or the uh, the um, clipping mask here and you can actually add the words into the text right here if you decide you want to do that as well so it's pretty fun pretty cool go ahead and give it a try make sure you look below for some little freebies that I may add in reference to this video and leave me a comment let me know what you think about it alright I'll talk to you guys later peace out